Usually when you first enter this boss fight, there'll be a cutscene after you've walked halfway down the roof and the bell gargoyle will come down and attack you. But if you're returning to the boss fight like I am in this video, usually the gargoyle will leap at you and try and smash and it's hard to see because of the fog. So when you first enter the fog gate the second time, assuming you died on the first time, you want to have your shield up and be blocking so that you can block that attack if he lands on you. So the gargoyle has a really long weapon with wide sweeping attacks and thrusts, so the best way to do this fight is to get in close to the gargoyle on his shield side, so that when he thrusts it goes past you, and when he sweeps, you can kind of get behind him and swing a couple times. Keep in mind that you can cut off the gargoyle's tail with a few hits uh, in order to get the gargoyle tail axe. Uh, once you have the axe, it doesn't matter whether you win the fight or lose, you'll always have it. Even if you cut the tail off again, you won't get another one. So be sure to do that first thing. It's always a good idea to keep your shield up when you're moving in because his sweep attacks will sometimes clip you uh, if you don't. And, you know, he doesn't usually attack for a lot of stamina if you block unless you get hit with one of the overhead smashes. So around 50%-ish health, he'll call in a second gargoyle, and this is when things get really dicey. It's a good idea that when he's calling him in, if you get in a bunch of shots, because he usually doesn't move. And obviously here, anytime they're breathing fire, if you can get off to the side and attack, it's the best opportunity to get in a lot of damage without having to worry about return fire. So in this second phase here with the two gargoyles, you're going to have to be kind of patient and look for your openings. They have a tendency to breathe fire over and over and over, and when even when you can attack one, you can't uh, get in there because of the fire. So um, you'll see that even though I have that one gargoyle very weak, um, it actually takes me quite a while to get him down because I don't have a lot of openings and I'm waiting. You can see right here, always keeping my shield up is saving my life. I'm still taking a little bit of damage, but I would be dead if I didn't block some of those attacks. I had to do a little bit of fancy footwork there, but you can see I finally got my opening to get that guy down, and I had to dodge like five fire attacks in order to do it. Once that second gargoyle is gone, this fight gets much, much easier. Um, you can see the, the boss there is breathing fire, and I get behind him and put in a bunch of shots, no problem. A couple of notes about this fight. Uh, there is a chance to drop the gargoyle shield when you kill this boss. So if you're farming with successive runs, as well as the gargoyle helm, which has a little bit less of a chance to drop, so, you know, if you want those items, go ahead and farm the boss for them. Uh, I strongly recommend you upgrade your weapon to plus 5 before going into this fight. Uh, the way you do that is with Blacksmith Andre outside. Um, if you need to farm Titanite Shards or, you know, uh, souls in order to buy Titanite Shards, it's a good idea to make sure you have plus 5 before going in there. It'll really, really help out. If you need some additional help uh, and you don't want to summon players, you can summon Solaire of Astora outside the Fog Gate, or you can summon Lawtrick. Um, outside as well if you rescued him from his cell. Keep in mind though that to see these summon signs you must be in human form. 